right welcome i just went live a little bit earlier than i thought i would but um it's all cool i hope this is working i had a lot of been playing around for the last few hours trying to make this work so yeah hit up the live chat if you are tuning in now and let me know but i think if this video goes well then i'll have it up uh, for you to view later on so it's going to be a little bit longer i'm actually going to do some photoshop work which is quite unusual um, but I'm going to show you something, a shot I shot last year that I really, really loved and I'm going to improve it. And it's something I've never, I've never really done to my photography. Um, I used to work in a photography studio for product photography and, you know, half of the stuff we did was Photoshop and the other half was, well, one ten percent was photography and the rest was just manipulation later on, really. And we take up to 16 different shots and... I like that approach when you're shooting products, when you have to perfectionize what you're shooting, but not in landscape, adventure, outdoor and travel photography. But today I'm making an exception. Um, we're going to jump back to September 2018 to Norway. And um, I want to show you one of my photos that I shot there that um, if I can bring it up, here we go. Uh, let's go to grid. So we are going to be editing this shot here. Not quite the shot. <laughs> These are some previews of what I've been uh, testing around with. So this is the photo I captured. And this is in Lofoten Islands, Lofoten Islands in Norway. And um, there were these three Australian guys that would walk by, came out, and we were, um, yeah, shooting the sunset, shooting the light, as you can see, it was amazing. And um, it's a, a popular surf spot, uh, Unstad Beach in Lofoten. Pretty cold, if you ask me. And you can't see it, but the waves are pretty big on that day um that's just in between a set here and uh, yeah these three guys walked out and it was just this rushed and amazing light really great surf and then this perfect shot of people in a landscape like i love it and um yeah we had to you know act react really quickly to the action and what happened was that i got a shot i really like i like the silhouette of the guy walking out but the composition is not quite balanced. Um, it's not as clean as I hope for it to be. If I zoom in a bit, I hate that the rocks are overlapping. And yeah, I could push up the shadows and, and differentiate the colors and the textures here, but that's not the point of this shot. So what I wanted to do um, today is show how I cleaned this shot up. Now, if that's morally, morally right or wrong, uh, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But um, yeah, we're going to be cleaning up that shot in Photoshop. So I'm going to be using my little tablet, Wacom tablet here, which I haven't used in ages um, to yeah, manipulate the photo and clean up the composition. I've, the edit has been done. Um, if we go back into Lightroom, the edit's been done and I like the way it looks. We're just going to clean up that composition and move across to achieve a better composition. Um, so yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to jump into Lightroom, uh, into Photoshop. Sorry for that one. Um, so I'm going to open this in Photoshop 2019 straight from Lightroom. This is the raw file and um, in a second it should be there. This is always a slow process. There it is struggling along and maybe two seconds. Here we are. Here we are in Photoshop. So as we can see up here, it's the raw file that we're editing and uh, I'm going to be yeah, cleaning it up. So really quick i try to be non-destructive when i edit that means that everything i do is retractable so i can i can fix all my edits now the first thing i'll do is clean up this guy here we just want to clean up his silhouette a little pops more into the shot so we'll start off with making a selection um, i'm using the keyboard shortcuts a lot so i'm going to tell you what i'm pushing here which is p for the pen tool and um, yeah we'll start on the rock here and work our way around this his silhouette. Um, since he's already quite small, I'm not going to be like too exact on it. Um, as you will see later on, it doesn't matter so much. But yeah, we're basically going to be cutting out things so we can um, use them. Okay, uh, yeah, get this surfboard as well. So since we are live and I don't want to waste your entire night, I'm going to do this fairly roughly but you will get the idea by the end of this. So yeah, we're gonna do this, come across here, somewhere there. The problem with this is the more you do it, the more precise you want to get. Okay, I would, I would guess his arm's a little bit higher up, so we're gonna 
guess his silhouette here, which is fine. And command enter to make your path into a selection. And then I will invert my selection because now it had selected the outside. Now I've selected the inside and press command J. And now it's taken from my background. It has taken my selection, made a new layer on top of that. So if I isolate it, that's what we've got. All right, so I've cleaned them up. Uh, now what I can do, I try to name my things. Her right surfer. He's on the right side of the image. It's the right surfer. And I'm going to make a new layer, which I'll put underneath, which is um, clean up, clean up right. Okay. And now very simple. I'm just going to take the stamp tool, clone stamp tool. And um, with option and alt, option and control, I can up and down change the hardness. So make to, to define the sharpness of the edge of my tool and left, right, I can change the size. So that's really quick up, down, left, right to make this. And once you get the hang of that, super easy. So now I'm going to select my definition area. Now I want to clean it up as much as possible around him. So I'm going to select, select a nice bright area. So I'm going to do this, select it just above my mouse here. And I'm just going to clean it up like that. Um, just mix up the textures a bit. And the same around his arm, there's nothing there really, just want to clean it up a bit more. So he is more visible. Okay, if I zoom out, uh, there we go. So I'm going to group these, select those two layers, group them and call it right. Um, that's the right guy. And there we go. Now he's way more defined. We can do a little more work there on the cleanup around his body get that definition as much as possible. So I want it to be as bright as possible to get maximum contrast. Next thing, this, this guy in the middle really needs to be um, isolated more from the backdrop. So uh, I'm going to be cutting out his, his, the rock here and moving it, cutting it away a little bit. And obviously the guy below him that's going in, we're actually going to move him. We're going to put him somewhere else. Um, since we have nice three guys here, I think we can find a nice spot over there for him and um, tidy up this this shot a little more that way. So make sure we work in the right layer. Now this guy I'm going to cut out quite nicely. Um, whoops, not that's not very precise. Um, and the reason is because he's sort of the center of this shot. I have to make sure that um, you know his, your eye will be drawn to him. So if things are not right then uh, you, you notice it immediately. So you can't have that. It still should look real, right? So yeah, once you get used to the pen tool, it's actually an amazing tool. Um, and it, it, it's much better than creating, using the wand or anything like that to make selections. And the reason for that is that uh, it creates vector paths. So much cleaner lines that are independent from the pixels on the shot. Okay, so here I'm just going to guess his outline because I can't really see it. And then I'm going to come back up here and do some more editing. That's maybe a bit too rough there. Um, I'm actually staying a little bit on the inside of his silhouette. The reason for that is I'm going to be cleaning out the water around him. And if I cut him out a little bit too close to the edge, then I'm going to add water and we're going to have two different textures of water that will sit right next to each other, which doesn't work so well. But if his silhouette becomes a little bit shorter, it doesn't really affect, um, uh, shorter, if he becomes a little bit smaller, it doesn't really affect the way he looks. So um, the leash on his board is something I'm going to touch up later, I think. So. Um, also vector paths, I always recommend making as little, as few points as possible and then working your way in, uh, later on if you need to be more precise and not, not overdoing it. So there we go here onto a surfboard. That is a fairly straight line. This is not good enough. And there, um, yeah, coming around, cleaning up here. If you're watching this after it's streamed, I recommend watching it in uh, 
a higher speed. You can select the little cog icon and change the playback speed and maybe, you know, watch this a little faster. <laughs> okay, so I've made my selection and made sure I've made the selection on the background. Now I'm going to uh, invert it again, make sure I have him selected and not the outside of around him and press command J to um, isolate him. Now, if I select just this layer, we can see we've cut him out quite nicely, looking good. And all I have to do now, we can close that, is create another layer just below it, not above, below him. So we're going to call him Surfer Center. And this here is going to be Water. Uh, what are we going to call it? Uh, clean up, clean up, center. Center, R-E or E-R? Depends where you are in the world. And now uh, I'll just grab clean water areas around him. And there's going to be multiple steps here. So we're going to have to, I want to shorten this rock area. I'm going to be a bit rougher than I would be to begin with here. And you will see in a minute, we will just bring that rock back out again. Um, around, oh, around the top here. So I'm sampling this area. I quite like the texture here and just filling it in so he looks as clean as possible. Um, the surfer below him we will fix in a minute. Now we have to try and fix this rock again, which I will do on a separate layer. So we'll call it rock center. And the reason is that it's going to be on top of the water. So it has to be on top of the cleanup area, which is the water area, and we need a nice edge. And I can see already up here, I like this edge. I'm going to select the background area, background layer, come in here and make sure I select it fairly neatly. Is, even that, is that a word? Neatly. Make sure it's clean. And I just really want that edge of that rock. So I'm going to just duplicate that off the back layer. Oop, that's my mistake. I have to invert it again and then duplicate it with Command J. Make sure I've made the right thing. Yeah, and now I'm just going to grab that, this area here, and we're going to fill it in. As we can see here, it's on the wrong layer. So I'm just going to delete this and I call this rock center. And maybe scale it up a tiny little bit. Okay, rotate it a bit. Just make sure it doesn't overlap with his arm here since we are trying to clean up his silhouette. So that's looking good. All I got to do here is maybe delete that a bit and darken down this area here. And um, the way I would do that is probably add another layer um, below the rock. Yeah. And, and grab it from here somewhere and just blend it in a bit more. This is a quite a tricky one, I guess. Uh, And now I think it's looking good for now. I'll clean, group it, clean it, uh, go back to full view. And as we can see here, we've cleaned up around him. Now his feet and his, his body at the bottom here, we still have to work a little bit, but before we remove everything, we're actually gonna grab this guy and, and use him somewhere else. So I'm gonna grab him again with uh, the pen tool. Super easy, press P to get into the pen tool. And phew, this is a tough one, I'm gonna have to Ah, you know what we'll do? We'll grab that rock next to him as well, just for kicks. And go this way. Since it's all black here, I'm pretty stress-free here with the selection. Um, we'll go. We'll come here, but I need to make sure, obviously, that uh, we grab his board in about the right shape. Uh, so I'm going to do this. And bring this in here. I have to make sure that these are round, not um, cornered points, uh, just so it looks better when we move him. Ooh. Can be a bit fiddly, finicky. Just clean it up a bit and invert the selection. Whoops invert the selection, zoom out to that, 
and copy it command J and here we have I'm gonna call him the left surfer and just with the rock <laughs> uh, and I'm just gonna grab him and move him over to somewhere I might have to scale him in a little bit like this let's put him somewhere here well he doesn't stand out enough maybe we have to remove the rock after all we will see and there we go looking fine um, I will remove the rock around him the whole point about this is to clean up these guys so Oh, okay. And where he is here is looking pretty good already. Um, it's clear that we need to do some cleaning up on this guy. So I'm going to create a new layer um, with that selection of him. And I'm just going to clone some things. Now, because I have that selection, my cloning will only happen inside that layer. I could probably create a brush as well if I really wanted to, um, but feeling a bit lazy <laughs> oh Photoshop is having a bit of a hard time oh um, and then we have to come back and figure out where his arm is which I will probably do in a way like this where we can be sure that what we are working on is not going to go beyond the arm so do this um, this is all with command and shift you can vary the way you select things in in uh, photoshop so i don't know why it keeps doing this it seems to think i press down and then click somewhere to add a new line. Anyway, getting there, there it's happening again. Oh. Photoshop not being on my, in my favor today. New area, and there we go. I'm just going to grab that area there and then do a stroke oh. make sure we got a rough edge oops a little bit too much there and then deselect it and that looks good and i can be quite quick here and just clean it up that way um, we need to kind of blend him in a little more i think so what i will do is grab him Oh, what did we do there? Okay. Um, we will merge these two. I'll group them and see what they are. Yeah, that's him in, in the up way, I guess. Um, and what we'll do is I will blend him in a bit more. So first of all, I want to make a him. Oh, this is enough. And then select modify we're going to feather it by half a pixel this just creates a little more defined edge um, invert it so it works to the outside and delete that and the difference is barely visible but it's there so if i go back you can you can't actually see it <laughs> um, and that's because i forgot a step so sorry for this uh, I need to go select, modify, we're going to go contract by, oh, my window has ended up on my other screen, here we go, contract it by, I'm going to say one pixel, invert it, and then we're going to go select, modify, and feather it by half a pixel, and now on, oh, on this layer here with the surfer, I'm going to delete it. And that has blended him in a little more. Um, the edge is a little less defined. I think I'll also edit out a bit more of the board here at the back. 
Mm, kind of belongs to it. So this is a bit of bit of trial and error. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. So now our last thing to do is to remove him from here because this is not cool. <laughs> well, we could get away with it, but I think um, they are too identical and we kind of want to clean this guy up. So I'm going to go call this guy, um, the, no, he's left, and this is center, uh, center guy, and make sure that we select him again and invert that selection make a new layer that we're working on and I want to clean up around him so I'm going to grab some nice water here I'm not going to worry too much about the leash yet and just do a, a fairly rough clean up for now just make sure that we just get rid of well, it keeps doing it I think it's my tablet thinking I'm pushing things pushing buttons um, and what I will do is I'll probably grab some of these stones here and insert them in here somewhere and just see what happens. Uh, I'll grab this edge here, kind of like that edge and use that to move in a bit more. There we go. Because there's so much going on in that area, it's not such a big deal that we um, are not doing like precision work here which is kind of nice for once in photoshop looking a bit odd so i'm going to grab more water from here i think it'll look better it's kind of good to select water from a similar area um, for the simple reason that the texture size is the right size and if i go and select it from different areas then you know if I select something from up here it just looks wrong here and that's why I want to stay in this area um, and I might grab this rock here and use it as a little bit of a foreground there and then erase around his feet so we, he gets back onto that rock we'll make it a hard edge like this and there we go Okay, so we have the leash, which is the last thing. I'm going to just hide him and then just grab my pen tool again. Very simple. And make a selection of that leash. <clears throat> Super quick because we're going to basically create a new leash for him. I hope he won't mind. It'll, be, it'll look just as good and do the job. Just make sure that we keep the same thickness approximately. Okay, turn that into a selection, uh, make a new layer, and I'm going to fill it with black. Or not. Because it's not visible, there we go. Yeah, that's looks, looking alright, just maybe a little bit intense. I'll just create decreased opacity, go back to zero, and his leash is fixed like it was never gone um, there we go that's the quick edit um in 20 minutes group all this and that's the before and that's the after click save and then jump back into lightroom and somewhere in here the photoshop edit will be um, there we go it just popped in and that's it um, and now that's a psd file so if i press information whoop there we go it's a psd file and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That was a quick, quick edit. Um, tell me how you feel about that. How, how would you go back and, you know, a photo you really like like this, would you go back and edit it in this way? Reality has been kind of in the same way. The circumstance and the light and the, the moment hasn't. These guys were trying to get in and catch a wave and I've just improve the composition. The thing is, it's a real moment. I didn't want to break that moment of these guys getting in there and, and be like, hey, sorry guys, can you, you know, step over there, hold it there. I didn't do that. I just shot the moment as it was and it turned out to be a really cool photo that was just not quite right. So <laughs> I decided I wanted to Photoshop it a little more and um, improve my composition. So probably my lack of skill has 
uh, Photoshop's helped me out a little bit on that one. And yeah, if we look at it, um, this is the shot in final and yeah, looking pretty good. So that was it for this short, quick little live stream, 20 minutes. If you're watching it uh, after the stream, thanks for staying for this long and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you learned something, if you wanna see more of this stuff, let me know down in the comments below and please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, you know the drill. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be posting more videos soon, so stay tuned and try and do some more live streams as we go. So yeah, thanks so much for tuning in everyone. I uh, really appreciate it, so. Thank you.